15 U.S. Code 1605, Determination of Finance Charge. Finance Charge Defined except as otherwise provided in this section, the amount of the finance charge in connection with any consumer credit transaction shall be determined as the sum of all charges, payable directly or indirectly by the person to whom the credit is extended, <clears throat> and imposed directly or indirectly by the creditor as an incident to the extension of credit. The finance charge does not include charges of a type payable in a comparable cash transaction. The finance charge shall not include fees and amounts imposed by third-party closing agents if the creditor does not require the imposition of the charges or the services provided and does not retain the charges. <clears throat> third-party closing agents include settlement agents, attorneys, escrow and title companies. Examples of charges which are included in the finance charge include any of the following types of charges which are applicable. One, interest, time price differential, and any amount payable under a point, discount, or other system or additional charges. Two, service or carrying charge. Loan fee, finder's fee, or similar charge fee for an investigation or credit report. These are the charges included in the finance charge. Premium or other charge for any guarantee or insurance protecting the creditor against the obligor's default or other credit loss. <coughs> Borrower paid mortgage broker fees, including fees paid directly to the broker or lender for delivery to the broker, whether such fees are paid in cash or financed. Okay, B, life accident or health insurance premiums included in finance charge. Charges or premiums for credit life accident or health insurance written in connection with any consumer credit transaction shall be included in the finance charge unless the coverage of <clears throat> excuse me, the coverage of the debtor by the insurance is not a factor in approval by the creditor of the extension of credit. And this fact is clearly disclosed in writing to the person applying for or obtaining the extension of credit. And in order to obtain the insurance in connection with the extension of credit, the person to whom the credit is extended must give specific affirmative written indication of his of his desire to do so after written disclosure to him of the cost thereof property damage and liability insurance premiums included in the finance charge charges or premiums for insurance written in connection with any consumer credit transaction against loss or damage to property or against liability arising out of the ownership or use of property shall be included in the finance charge unless a clear and specific statement in writing is furnished by the creditor to the person to whom the credit is extended setting forth the cost of the insurance if obtained from or through the creditor and stating that the person to whom the credit is extended may choose the person through which the insurance is to be obtained. D, items exempted from computation of finance charge in all credit transactions. If any of the following items is itemized and disclosed in accordance with the regulations of the Bureau in connection with any transaction, then the creditor need not include that item in the computation of the finance charge with respect to that transaction. Fees and charges prescribed by law which are, actually are or will be paid to public officials for determining the existence of or for perfecting or releasing or satisfying any security related to the credit transaction. 
the premium payable for any insurance in lieu of perfecting any security interest otherwise required by the creditor in connection with the transaction. If the premium does not exclude, does not exceed the fees and charges described in paragraph one, which would otherwise be payable. Any tax levied on security instruments or documents evidencing indebtedness. If the payment of such taxes is a, is a precondition for recording the instrument, securing the evidence of indebtedness. Items exempted from computation of finance charge and extensions of credit secured by an interest in real property. The following items, when charged in connection with any extension of credit secured by an interest in real property, shall not be included in the, in the computation of the finance charge with respect to that transaction. Fees or premiums for title examination, title insurance, or other purposes. Fees for prep preparation of loan-related documents. Escrows for future payment of taxes and insurance. Fees for notarizing deeds and other documents. Appraisal fees, including fees related to any pest infestation or floor hazard inspection conducted prior to closing. Credit reports. Tolerances for accuracy, RAT F. In connection with credit transaction, not under an open-end credit plan that are secured by real property or dwelling, the disclosure of the finance charge and other disclosures affected by any finance charge shall be treated as being accurate for the purposes of this subchapter if the amount disclosed as the finance charge does not vary from the actual finance charge by more than $100 or is greater than the amount required to be disclosed under this chapter and shall be treated as being accurate for purposes of section 1635 of this title if, except as provided in subparagraph B, the amount disclosed as the finance charge does not vary from the actual finance charge by more than an amount equal to one half of 1% of the total amount of credit extended. Or, in the case of a transaction other than a mortgage referred to in section 1602AA of this title, which is refinancing of the principal balance then due and any accrued and unpaid finance charges of a residential mortgage transaction as defined in section 1602W of this title, or is any subsequent refinancing of such a transaction and does not provide any new consolidation or new advance if the amount disclosed as the finance charge does not vary from the actual finance charge by more than an amount equal to 1% of the total amount of credit extended.